Dear ones, I have beheld the radiance, the blessedness, and the glory of God. And this day I behold this radiance, this blessedness, and this glory within your own higher being. Your beloved, I am God Presence. As you choose to commune and align yourself with God's will, wisdom, and love. So these emanations grow within and around you. So you manifest more of God's divine quintessences where you live, move, and have your being. You may feel the radiance of God's heart when you pray and offer devotion to the one light. You may experience the blessedness of God's presence when you focus on pure spirit and when your only desire is to maintain that self-same spirit of love within. You may behold the glory of God when your gaze is fixed upon the Lord. Upward and inward, and you consciously choose to enter that field of light and allow it to brighten your own being and world. I am Afra. And I say that divine soulfulness springs from the eternal life-giving ocean of God's universal consciousness and cosmic awareness. You may experience this soulful state, dear ones, when you meditate in silence and allow the impressions of perfection to grace your being with their uplifting and magical essences. In fact, these divine engrams that can uplift you are always available if you learn the art of their absorption through the use of the divine breath, the breath of God. Your life may become more magical than you can now imagine if you give God the authority to act fully in your life each day and each hour. Your aura may shine with a new radiance, blessedness, and glory as you practice this art of being subsumed into the divine light, of being absorbed into the cosmic solution of this universal life-giving energy, which is the very creator, him, herself, of your being and all beings. Yes, this is a mystical path of oneness. Yet, as you know, alchemy is also the practical application of love upon this self-same path of light. Those of you engaged in daily givingness enter into, through your spirit of communion with the one God, the all power, all wisdom, and all love of the Maxon Light, 
and you may enjoy in that state of radiance, blessedness, and glory. The joy of the Lord, the holiness of unity, The new day has quickened you from within and you experience heaven right where you are. You are fused to light and light continues to fuse within you the higher elements of God's grace. You are perfected through love through virtue, through the emptying of self as you simultaneously receive the higher selfhood that you have always deserved in your divine state of sonship, of oneness in the light. Those of you who have read my book, Volume 1, and truly sought to enter into a communicative spirit with me have received my impressions of divine loveliness, of joy, of brother-sisterhood, of freedom and love deep within your soul. And those of you who have committed yourself to these Sunday offerings of your heart, to the Afrans, the brothers and sisters of who I am, have also received a gradual quickening of your soul during these sessions that have carried you forward on your path of self-mastery who have truly contacted who you are as a living soul one who breathes the very essence of the atmosphere of the Holy Spirit through your lungs and through your heart engagement in these sacred times of givingness you have been the great beneficiaries of the light. And that light has worked its alchemy within you. That light has glorified God within you. That light, as you have absorbed it, has truly changed you, transformed you, transmuted you into a new creature in Christ. You have read the story within my book of the relationship between Jesus and Simon the Cyrenian. This relationship spans eons of time. Yet I say, dearest ones, that your relationship with me, with Saint Germain, and with Jesus also spans thousands and tens of thousands of years as we, as a part of the universal or great white brotherhood, have attempted to bring to earth a new vision, a new glory, a new unity field of beingness to our work, our service, our light. I chose to ascend long, long ago and hold that sacred space for you, each one, to rise into your own soulful state of union with God and then one day to earn your place at the table of the Lord through your own ascension where you can carry on this work in higher spheres and dimensions of being, and then enter into your cosmic consciousness, that divine estate where all 
is experienced as one, where everything is a part of the whole, and the new reality that you have absorbed and become through your own oneness with God. Enoch has spoken unto you of embodying the virtues of God. And I reflect upon his words. And I pray, dearest ones, that each of you will absorb day by day, month by month, year by year, these higher virtues of your causal body, your body of all virtue. And then, when the time is ripe, you will distribute the fruits of your entree into God's presence graciously to offer your selfhood on the altar of humanity as a bodhisattvic being, as a blessing to thousands and millions who then will receive through the absorption of the rays that you offer to your divine presence, light, for their ennoblement, for their acceleration on the path. You see, Christ by Christ, Buddha by Buddha, we are transforming our earth in light. And when you do your part, when you have entered into that spiritual state of oneness, it counts for all of humanity through the alchemy of love and of what, through your own co-creative power, you choose to manifest through that oneness state of God-beingness. Some reading these words after they are transcribed will say, Oh, Master, it seems as if you are talking in circles and using the same words that other masters use to convey their messages. And I aver that it is true, for these words are cups of light that we, the conscious ones of heaven, send unto you as a challenge, as a goad to higher beingness, as a call to oneness, to unity, to sacred brother sisterhood and the light. If you are not convinced to the words themselves, then I say, look beyond the words, feel beyond what you can feel through your human self and engage with your divine presence, for that is where you will feel the energy of spirit that comes unto your soul that is transformative, cosmically alchemical, and will indeed allow you to begin to experience God within in a higher order and a newness and a freshness a spiritual quickening and awakening. Imagine what it was like, dearest ones, for you to be in the living presence of Jesus during his ministry upon earth. This same opportunity is presented unto you through this dispensation, through these heart streams. And I dare say that during some of them, you are even receiving a greater quickening of your soul a greater energization of your spirit through the fire that descends within these transmissions of light. And let me state for the record that this is not an association or an organization that is one of channeling psychic dictations from masters here, there, and everywhere. It is a sponsored movement of the Great White Brotherhood of the True Ascended Masters who exist in oneness with God 
and through the transformative power of the Holy Spirit that manifests through these deliveries, there is the opportunity for every soul who engages and who, through a loving and open heart, receives the light and the energy of their own presence through this, the magic and the miracle of self-transformation. This dispensation was always meant to empower each of you to be who you truly are, to engage in your divine plan and a greater and higher order, an energy field of God glory. If you desire greater dispensations, earn them through givingness. Seek them through the offering of self, the emptying of your human and the filling of yourself with divine light. We are always ready, willing, and able to offer you greater light fields of divine joy, dearest ones, when you prove that you can utilize the dispensation harmoniously and righteously through action and through the practical application of the science of spirit in your life. If you have not maintained harmony and peace within your emotional and your mental bodies, how can you expect us to offer you greater gifts of spirit? For you would then dash them upon the ground in moments of unconsciousness or lack of surrender. Yet for those who have been true to the path and have earned these higher fields of energy, we say, kudos unto you for having received these great engrams of light within your being and righteously used them to glorify God and to offer self to others. You have also been the greater beneficiary of their blessings within your own soul. You know this. You can avert it. You have seen the changes within your life and world. And now it is time to engage in higher alchemy with St. Germain and me, with Jesus and Magda, Mother Mary and Raphael, and all the legions of light in heaven, to prove that law and to expand this kingdom consciousness planetary-wide. Yes, there has been trouble here and there among those who have associated with us through this movement. And yet, dearest ones, this one has remained true to that which we have spoken and directed and activated through the dispensations and graces. And lest any criticize or question the motivation and the purity of this one. Let me say, find another who is as giving and selfless as this, and then go to that one and receive that one's offerings. It is not a matter of comparison, dearest ones. It is simply that once having begun the path and received the great light through the conveyances of these heart streams, it is incumbent upon you to then engage and to use that light in virtuous works and sacred offerings to serve mankind. Don't trifle with what we have offered, thinking that humanly you could do just as much as this or that one. It is a grace to receive our missives and our releases of light and few upon the earth have so purified themselves that they can be a true and clear vessel such as this. I call you home to the heart of the Divine Mother, the Blessed Mary, Kuan Yin, and many mothers who have spoken through 
this movement of light to ennoble your soul, to raise your soul, to rekindle within your soul the eternal light of spirit. And blessed ones, I will set on fire the souls of those who are willing and able to serve and to engage with us. Yes, there are little fires that have been initiated and begun in Ghana and elsewhere, that truly we will expand to the fire of the Holy Spirit. We will fan these fires until one day they become a great conflagration of sacred fire for the transmutation of planetary darkness and evil and for the resurrection of the new day unto the ascension of those who are ready. The virgins who have trimmed their lamps by maintaining the light within their chakras and aura while giving glory to God through what they have absorbed, what they have become, the selfless service, surrender, sacrifice through love. I pray that you each feel the fire of my soulfulness calling you higher to aspire to God desire always. When you enter God desire first and foremost, all your human desires are either aligned with that one purpose or disappear as wisps of nothingness, of forgetfulness within the mayic fields of illusion, self-centered delusion, It is better, blessed ones, to live in the glory of God than in the glory of man in his human state. And one day all those who seek fame and fortune through egoic living will have to come to terms with all that they have invested within that chimera of the lesser self. Reread, if you must, the first three chapters of Climb the Highest Mountain to again understand the nature of the illusory, nonsensical human self and embrace your divine presence now and always, for this is the solution your dilemma of life itself. And when you embrace your presence and live in the glory of God, now, that now extends unto the eternal now, the all-commanding, ever-present state of beingness. And this is where the real you exists and always has within God's presence. I am Afra. I bless all those who have prayed each of these Sundays when possible to support my work, our work. Let there be a sacred multiplication of all that you have given for your victory in the light, for your transfiguration, resurrection, and ascension, according to the cosmic timetables of your life experience. Thank you, blessed ones. Thank you always for your hearts of fire. 
good day.